men's ice hockey team who did something amazing. Uh, led by Herb Brooks, uh, they went on to be the best hockey team in the world, and um, later the Soviet Union, and then later went on to um, win the Olympics. And there's a quote here. This cannot be a team of common men. Because common men go nowhere. You have to be uncommon. And I like this because we at the Roger Smith, we're a family run ho hotel in the best city in the world amongst corporate giants. So, how do we stand out? We see this as an opportunity. So, in 2009, we hosted the Roger Smith Shorts Film Festival, which brought six filmmakers into the hotel. And for a week, they took over the property and went through a writer's workshop, organized with our team to coordinate shooting. And at the final night, they <clears throat> premiered their films in front of an audience of industry professionals. And connections were made. And people went on to do collaborations. We have Brett Siddell, who, um, after working with Sean Cunningham, went on to create a Super Bowl ad that is one of the best Super Bowl ads of, of all time. Chevy Super Bowl ad, which is based on the success of the previous year. We were able to partner with the Brooklyn International Film Festival for the next year where we created a special program for their opening night. And in front of an audience, sold out audience, uh, we premiered the next shorts uh, at the Indie Screen Theater in Williamsburg. So next year, we partnered with the Thai Artists Alliance, and we're able to connect with the Thai community in New York, and at their premiere, there was the Thai Consulate General in the audience. So there's this idea that we're connecting people and networks. So we're Thinking Man's Hotel. And people have been inspired within the walls of our property. Bob Dylan wrote like a rolling stone on Roger Smith stationery that went on to sell at auction for $2 million this past year. Kurt Cobain watched himself for the first time, smells like teen spirit, and re remarks about it in, in, in his biography, in the biography about him. Buckminster Fuller was uh, stayed at the, in the penthouse and was inspired by uh, our ceiling in his quest toward the, the geodesic dome. Jane Goodall, um, through the UN, we uh, she reached out and needed rooms for her Roots and Shoots program, we were able to accommodate, and she's been friends of ours ever since. So we're, we're, we uh, are a place and in, in 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 an inspiration for people, and we've created um, opportunities, one of which is uh, we've created this window, and it's an art gallery on 47th Street. And the window it rotates artists every three weeks. And with each installation, there is uh, an event that um, the artist is introduced by a champion of their work to an audience of their peers. Now, I like this because it does a couple things. One, it connects a medium or an, an event with an audience and, and, and ties the place. So we, we become a place where things actually happen. <clears throat> Roger Smith is an idea. So what is this inspiration? What is this idea? And what is the next idea? Behind the wall, behind the window, 125, we're building a stage. And this stage embodies everything that we consider ourselves, which is a platform, a place for that fosters creativity and in people's quest towards being great. So come and enjoy, come and experience. That's right.
Thank you, John. And next up is